Hey, what's going on, phone dogs? Bo HD here, and it's that time of the year where summer is coming to an end and school is starting back up again. I know some of you will be starting school very soon. Some of you have already started, I'm sorry. But I wanted to give you about 10 must-have back-to-school apps for iOS that will help keep you organized, focused, and productive. I have already made a video highlighting several must-have back-to-school apps for Android. I'll leave a link in the description for you to watch that video, along with links to check out all of the apps mentioned in this video. Some of the apps in this video are Android compatible, but not all of them, so just keep that in mind. All right, so with that said, let's get started. The first app is the Apple Calendar app. Chances are, if you're using an iPhone, you're probably invested in the Mac ecosystem, and the Apple Calendar is probably going to be your best friend as it can sync across all your OS devices. I do love this app for being so incredibly clean and just elegant looking, and it also allows you to actually sync events from your Gmail calendar, which is awesome. The whole reason it is on the list in this video though is so that you can add all of your classes and meetings and study sessions, whatever it might be, so that you can just stay on track. If you need something a little less formal to remind you of an event, the stock Apple Notes app is a must have. It embodies that simple Apple layout, everything is super minimal. This version of the app is actually a little bit too minimal in my opinion, but it is good for simply writing down notes. The reason I'm mentioning it over, say, Wonderlist or Evernote, both of which are excellent alternatives, I highly recommend them, it's because the Notes app is actually getting a major refresh with iOS 9 when it launches here very, very soon. You can make checklists, add a photo, map, or URL to a note. You can even sketch your thoughts, and all of your notes will be synced to iCloud. So the iOS 9 Notes app will be fantastic for school. Now I wanted to include Google Drive on this list because it's amazing and Apple doesn't have an alternative. Drive was on my Android specific must have school apps video, but I had to include it here. You can write full documents, you can create spreadsheets and PowerPoints directly from the app itself, as well as share them with your classmates so that they can edit them too in real time. In addition, you can upload anything you'd like to Drive and access that info from any device. It's pretty awesome. It's just a must-have app even for Apple users. I did mention some note-taking app alternatives, but the app Notability is pretty sweet and it's pretty unique. Not only is it a killer note-taking app with a ton of functionality like the ability to hand-draw notes, but you can record audio while using the app, meaning you can record your lectures as you take notes, and it'll actually pair up your notes with the audio that you record. So I thought that feature was pretty killer. You guys should check out this app. Khan Academy is an app that's catered for those of you who may not have fully grasped an idea from a professor and need additional help from someone with a different perspective or just different teaching style. You may also use Khan Academy just to learn more about a subject as there are a bunch of short lessons on a variety of subjects. They are all in video format, which is great for visual learners. Shout out to the visual learners out there. Uh, the app is free and it's just all good, so just go check this app out. Quizlet is one of the best flashcard apps on iOS. You can create your own study sets on Quizlet for any subject, or you can even search through millions of study sets created by other Quizlet users. How cool is that? I've never been keen on making my own flashcards out of paper, but I could definitely sit down and bust out some flashcards via Quizlet without breaking a sweat. Office Lens is great, especially for the first day of class where they pass out the syllabus. Let's be honest, you are either not going to read it, or you'll read it and lose it and need it later. With Office Lens, you can digitize the syllabus by taking a picture of it through the app and turning it into a PDF for you to upload to, say, Google Drive. You also have the option of sending it directly to OneNote, OneDrive, Word, PowerPoint, or even sending it via email, all of which is pretty cool. PhotoMath is one of those apps that'll be useful to you and will also impress the people around you when you can answer a complex math problem just by using the camera on your smartphone. It'll not only give you an answer on the screen, but you can actually view the steps to get to your answer. It also records your history so you can view previous math problems. If you're looking for another easy to use math calculator for iOS, you should check out MyScript Calculator. With this app, you can write down calculations on your screen and the result will be immediately displayed. You can overwrite your previous writing to quickly edit the math problem. It's just really simple overall, super easy to use. I really just like using it. The last app is an app to learn more about a number of topics, issues, ideas. 
The TED Talks app is a must-have app for those who love learning and want to spend their free time doing something productive. There are so many incredible speakers and topics on here, I have yet to really find a bad TED Talks video. I really love the surprise feature that gives you a TED Talk video based off a genre, like, you know, funny, persuasive, informative, etc, etc, and based off how much time you actually have to spend listening and watching a video, but overall, it's a great app for really any human being. But with that last one, those were several must-have apps for back to school. I hope you found at least a couple apps to check out. Feel free to check out my video highlighting several must-have back to school apps for Android. If you have an Android device, maybe you know a guy, you should send them a link to that video. Maybe you know an iOS guy, you should send them a link to this video. As always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, sticking to the end. I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.